know, Hex, all credit to the developers on this one because they've nailed everything that makes a great Gears game. And it might be a bit odd to give credit to a developer for getting the basics right, but those basics matter and it could have gone horribly wrong. And they haven't tried to reinvent Gears, which I think is a smart move for a developer's first attempt at a beloved franchise. What the heck has happened to the classic Halo rocket launcher? 343 do nothing but change Halo. Change, 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 change. The style that they're going in doesn't really fit Halo, and I say this because the weapons just don't look original. 343 have done nothing but change this franchise from the ground up. Everything from the gameplay mechanics to even the art style. You didn't make this franchise, 343. You inherited this franchise. Gears is such an iconic franchise that for us it was about doing it right before we do it different. So, you know, it's such a huge responsibility to take on this franchise that from our standpoint, we need to make sure that the fans realize that we love and care and cherish the Gears franchise as much as they do. Halo 4, the game that changed the entire gameplay of Halo into a Call of Duty hybrid is catered to another audience of gamers who simply were not interested. The Master Chief Collection, arguably the biggest failure in the history of gaming, launches an unfinished broken product that was a total slap to consumers who are more interested with the classic style. And now Halo 5, a game that still fails to feel like Halo at all, releasing with almost zero content post-launch whilst featuring a microtransaction system topped by having arguably the worst campaign in the history of the entire Halo franchise. Where normally we'd have to do a lot of trial and error on things like could we do this or do this, we were able to talk to Rod about as you built the first four games, why did you make these decisions? Okay, that they didn't give the community the chance to show up to support their teams. Uh, and, and to me that's a little bit disheartening simply because that only leads me to believe that they don't understand the community, the Halo community. That's the Halo tournament right there. That's it, right there. Today I'm going to be telling you guys about how badly 343 Industries has ruined the Halo franchise. 343 Industries has slowly been killing Halo. How can Halo approve an entrance how do you run your, your, your Halo Championships without a crowd? I, I don't want to say that they don't care, but it sure as looks that way, because my goodness. It doesn't offer an experience that feels like Halo. It doesn't play like Halo. It isn't designed like Halo. For many, it just isn't Halo. It's incredible to me that, this, that they allow this to happen. And I, don't, I, I, blame, I blame 343 and Halo. You know, they're the ones that are in charge of this. Someone needs to stand up in 343 and say, look, this franchise is really drastically dying. And we need to start listening to the people that are going to buy this game. The entire Halo community are now playing other games because we haven't been listened to. And that, you know, man, that hurts. It turns people away from the franchise and I don't want that, you don't want that 343. I hope that for the player's sake, for the community's sake, that this gets taken care of because it's, uh, it's, not, it's not a good look for Halo, okay? Look at what happened in the past, look how it was in the past, and look how it is now. It's not a good look. If you're going to care about esports, care about your esport. Welcome back. We are live here in the rocking Sunshine State, Orlando, Florida. It is going down here. And gentlemen, I got Chris and Scott up here in the booth with me. And let me just say, we are in Orlando, but it's a little chilly down here. Oh, it's freezing.